In this revision video, we'll discuss the sigma notation and we are going to answer three questions regarding the sigma notation. In our first question, we are given sigma and then inside the formula, we have 3 times 2 raised to the power of 1 minus k is equal to 5.8125. And it says calculate the value of n. So let's start by identifying that the contents of the sigma notation looks like a geometric pattern. And in order to find the sum of geometric terms, we need to determine the A value and the R value. A is the first term and R is the constant ratio between terms. So let us find term 1, which will be equal to A. What I need to do to find the first term is substitute k with 1. So it is 3 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And that is equal to 3. So our a value is equal to 3. Then we need to determine the second term. So it is 3 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2. Because the next value after k is equal to 1 is k is equal to 2. And if I multiply out, I see this is 3 times a half, which is 1 and a half. Now that I have the first term and the second term, I can determine the ratio. And the ratio is the second term divided by the first term. So that is... 3 over 2 or 1 and a half divided by 3 and therefore the ratio is equal to a half. Now that I have the a value and the r value I can find the sum of a geometric pattern which is a times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. And the question is to solve n. So we know that the sum is equal to 5.8125. The a value is 3. r is a half raised to the power of n minus 1 over a half minus 1. Now if I simplify, I have 5.8125 equals to 3 and a half raised to the power of n minus 1 over negative 1 half. And that can be rewritten as 5.8125 equals to negative 6 because 3 divided by negative a half is 6. And I have a half to the power of n minus 1. Now I divide both sides by 6 and I find that this will be negative 31 over 32 is equal to a half raised to the power of n minus 1. Then I transpose the 1 and that will be 1 minus 31 over 32 equals to a half raised to the power of n. And if I simplify the left hand side, I have 1 over 32 is equal to a half raised to the power of n. And 1 over 32 can be written as a half raised to the power of 5, because 32 is 2 to the power of 5. Therefore, n is equal to 5. 